It's yellow. It's white. It's yellow. It's white. It's yellow. It's kind of blue. Hmm. Interesting. Just wanted to show you what I found. Wow, that is some bright light. <laughs> on the, if I switch on some more lights here, this is the Philips 12 and a half watt dimmable 60 watt bulb. I've already started to take it apart here. And I'm going to pop this off here just so you can see what's inside. What makes this thing tick? And why in the world are they doing this? I don't recommend doing this at home. Now inside the bulb, you can see we have six SMD LEDs. I always like SMDs. They tend to be a lot more reliable. We have a plastic case on top of this. This is actually clipped into place and screwed in. Underneath here, there's a small PC board with a thermal conductive pad underneath that that's pressed up against this aluminum or whatever type of metal this is just as a heat sink. Screw this back in here. Now hopefully I'm not going to ruin my camera, but I'm going to shield my eyes. You can see it's actually blue light. I don't know if you can see it or not, I'm not looking in the camera, but it is actually blue light that's coming through there. The blue light, wow, which is extremely bright, don't look at those, <laughs> at least not live on the camera, it should be okay. The blue and the yellow is, seems to be what's making that white light. Now why they do this, I do not know, although I'm sure it is something to do with financial reasons as well as being able to create a very bright, very white, warm white light. This is Andrew Perkins from dabblings.net. The Philips bulb in a torchier, or however you pronounce that, actually comes out quite nice. There's not a lot of you don't see the shadows from the from the heat sink. It works out very well, very nicely. The downside, as you can see by this light up here, is what we used to have a problem with with fluorescence as well, which is when you turn it on, it takes just a little time for it to come up, about a third of a second. That can be annoying, but for the amount of savings you have, if you're going to put it in a light that's up and far away, something you don't want to have to replace a whole lot going up and down ladders, that's a very good light to use.